Hello, welcome everybody to Build Fly Go. So this is the last week in July, and as you saw from the previous video, we're working on fuel tanks. Fuel tanks can be a bit of a pain. <laughs> so you see there's a lot of masking going on, and we scuffed everything. Well, we're still masking those. We're scuffing the, the unmasked lines, um, and then we clean everything off with uh, Semsolve. Semsolve is the, the solvent that we're using. It's basically NAFTA. Um, and then after that, we uh, ProSeal, uh, or use the sealant, uh, which is called ProSeal. You see me mixing it right there. Uh, we ProSeal the parts and Clico them on. Um, we let them sit for uh, a couple of days, which you'll see there's a, a few days gap between some of the some of the videos because it's we're letting the pro seal set, and then we take out the the clicos and we rivet the parts in place. Um, the riveting of these parts is uh, honestly some of the hardest riveting that that you do on the airplane. Um, not only is it messy, but also all of the, when you put the rivet in the, the hole, you take the Clico out, you put the rivet in the hole, you also coat the rivet in fresh Pro Seal, which means the rivet is really slippery. So personally, I am unable to squeeze these rivets because the the squeezer slips and then the rivet folds. Um, this happens 100% of the time for me. So you'll see me, you know, in the beginning trying to squeeze some, uh, thinking, oh, no, I can do this. I, you know, I've been, I'm pretty good at squeezing rivets. And I think I've drilled out every single one. So we shift to bucking the rivets. Um, and that has some additional complications because when you buck the rivets, there's a bunch of pro seal there. You'll see when we do a couple of them. And that holds the head of the bucking gun, of the, the rivet gun, off the skin of the, 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 the plane, the part. So the rivet will sit proud. So you have to do it in two steps. You, you do it once. And then you stop, you wipe everything down, and then you do it again so that the, the head of the gun is flush with the skin. So each rivet takes 30 plus seconds. <laughs> it takes a while to do each one. And there's a lot of stiffeners here, so these take a while. Um, which, and honestly, it's fairly dull, messy work, so we haven't been terribly good about sticking with it. So you'll notice, um, I think this week we managed to get through one tank's worth of stiffeners. And uh, and I have a condition inspection on the RV-9 going on right now, which is the annual for um, experimentals. So we got no work on the RV-10 done over the weekend. Uh, so things are a little behind. They're definitely further behind than I expected. But we keep working at it, and uh, we'll have an airplane at the end. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. We'll talk soon.